Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Sports Side here on Midday Live. My name is Julie Bewa. We start with issues relating to the Commission of Enquiry and CEO of Travel Matters, that is Ivan Kojo, has told the Commission of Enquiry today that the three traveling agent, um, agencies contracted by the Brazil Planning Committee did not form um, did, did not form a, con a consentium um, to airlift supporters to Brazil. We bring you Essent as he tenders in his evidence. Go on with your story. We were all invited one Sunday by the minister and the committee, organizing committee members that we were to assemble at the chief of staff's president. We all went there and we, they were, the other agents and myself, my good self, were asked what we have been able to do so far which on my part I said I have a flight which uh, has a capacity of 269 per flight and there are three flights but then this flight is already on sale as the advert was already running so through that they asked how many seats I think has left with that one I couldn't confirm because it's already on sale and people are buying so the chief of staff said to us, all the three of us, that listen, you should go and work it out and make sure everything goes successfully. We all left the place. So when you were leaving the meeting with the chief of staff, what was the agreement when you were leaving there? The agreement was that the numbers I stated earlier on, we were to, to, to carry that numbers for the others that kind of have also come into contact with us to airlift those people. But it, was, but it was obvious that at that stage you were the only one who had a chartered flight. My lord, that is so. Now that chartered flight, do you have an agreement? Did you have an agreement to that effect at the time you left the chief of staff's office? My lord, that is so. You had an agreement? Yes, my lord. D signed. Signed. The point is, my life no, I no, can't no, clarify. No, 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 hold on. Did you have an agreement? Yes, my lord. Signed. Signed. Do you have copies of that agreement? Not as a present. You can let us have it. Yes, my lord. So, Ivan Kujo, the CEO of Travel Matters, answering some questions before that commission. And next up will be Camp on Travel and Tours, will be also be answering some questions. But we we'll move over onto the transfer market now. And today is transfer deadline day. And Abdul Majid Waris, that's Black Star striker, has completed his move to Turkish giant Trazaspor after signing a four year contract today. The 22 year old sealed the permanent move from Russian giant Spartak Moscow after passing a medical in the Turkish capital city of Istanbul this morning. The Black Star striker was one of the best strikers in France last season when he spent six months on loan with Valenciennes. The deal brings the striker's frustrating year and a half stint with the Moscow-based team to an end after failing to break through at the club. Still staying with transfer issues and Manchester United have agreed to sign Colombian striker Radamel Falcao in a £6 million season um, loan deal from Monaco. Falcao must pass a medical and has been linked during the summer with a move away from the French League One side whom he joined for £50 million in May 2013. So Falcao has scored 11 goals in 20 appearances for Monaco and has spent um, close to um, two in three games this season. So Manchester United, they're making moves of signing Radamet Farka. 